Hello all, it's the Duty Paid here, and today I'm taking a go at, though I'm having a go at, recording like a proper YouTuber. Look, hands. Now I'm sorry for hands are coming from wherever, you know. I'm really not too sure how this is set up. Inspired by uh, the great YouTubers recording on a uh, cutting mat. Now, I have a little, uh, well, quite a big project in uh, part and uh, I thought I'd share the makings of it with you. Let's just, uh, going off camera, should have been better prepared. Now, these, I got three of these on the uh, old interweb, eBay, picked them up cheap. They're basically a, uh, not sure which way up this will be, let's work with this way, I can always flip it up. They're basically your average um, DVD player which uh, kids if you uh, never seen one of these before movies came on a flat disc that you put into uh, objects now what I want with these is not to play DVDs um, basically I wanted a portable games player like a giant Game Boy I suppose but look, I even have a mug of tea <laughs> just like proper YouTubers what I wanted was Portable game system. Now I could plug in the controller, ideally uh, a sort of just a USB controller. Play the old Retro Pie, and just have one input. Now the system here, and all of them are, is 12 volt. So I can use a 5 volt line to power a Raspberry Pi Zero, but it won't be enough to power. Um, the other little bits that will go with it which I will show in a minute. So this is basically a uh, hand G. Um, the model number is not much. Let's see, it's a type manufacturing year. These are 10 years old, September 2007. They're HP 076 VD. They're basically, they still work. I hooked them up with just a generic um, power supply. So I'm getting off camera a bit. Hooked them up with generic power supply. Um, perfectly fine. These ones are nice because on the PCB they have obviously phone, coaxial out, AV in, AV out, and uh, P scan. I don't know which way up best to work. I think I'll try and work that way up. As I say, if this video comes out trash, I'll probably end up recording it. They pop open over SD card slot here. Um, they're quite, uh, I think they're about a hundred pounds a piece, maybe a little bit more. I think I got three of them for about ten pounds. Now, story so far. Here we have one. I've put some uh, sort of patty over it, and I've removed the um, sticker. I filled that in with a bit of. Plasticine, not plasticine, malput, malput. So here we got the gutted system. I've uh, cut out a hole, it, that won't be seen later. The uh, electronics will be down there. Stripped it out, and so forth. Back is fairly unexciting. And you have the little button control boards, which I've put some. Um, these ones basically are to control the menu, and they're the only ones marked. So what I've done is put some of the uh, mill putt and shaped them so you haven't got the play, fast forward, rewind and skip and jog functions. And what I've basically done to do is I've taken the motherboard and this was where the USB um, input was for uh, I think you could play videos off um, USB cards. I'm not entirely sure. It must be because that wouldn't be uh, to power anything else. 12 volt in, which I haven't hooked up another supply. The board sits upside down in the unit. It has all micro switches on the back, which is nice actually. Little push button switches. It hasn't actually got the membrane contacts. So basically that will be power for the Raspberry Pi. So if we uh, 
just grab that into vision. So basically Raspberry Pi will sit around somewhere and then we have these four leads Let's put that just out here a second these four leads are basically left and right audio and uh, the video source which is negative so one of these will basically act the blue is a negative I've run out of colors of wire if I had more colors of wire I'd get a bit more inventive and also Red and black are surprisingly expensive. I got this from RS. This is a, a about 24 and this is 22 gauge. And wire is um, the purple, the orange, the brown and the blue. Well, blue is different gauge. But it was cheaper than the red and the black, which you'd think would be used more of. Maybe it's more expensive to produce or something. Or people will pay a higher price. Who knows? So, common earth. I might put in another earth or even use the USB earth power for keep the video together but if you I found if you put um, the video and audio earth back through the same loop you get a terrible interference you get a picture and you get the old uh, snowflake scan line things so that's basically the uh, motherboard which has been um, solder true. Had to take off the USB header and the little multiple four-way jack one in which was wired up completely different than one I had off US um, eBay. The typical red, um, yellow, red and blah, blah. yellow, white and red um, wasn't wired up correctly so I think because it made it sort of proprietary you just but a little bit playing around and even they moved the earth back earth should be on the um, uppermost section and then it was should be video and audio or something like that but you can change that however round you wish so you might get a connector and basically the earth is shorting out the video where it shouldn't be so you have to buy the manufacturer's one which is always a bit naughty so basically um, audio from a Pi Zero is always tricky but for a couple of pound these are USB basically um, sound cards um, headphone adapters but this works surprisingly well actually so the Pi can take USB audio and that will go from there plug in this will be stripped back and that will go into the motherboard and power the sound but as you well know if there's only one power and one USB and you can't use the power for the um, anything else there's pads on the back and that allows you to attach power but that's a different story so what we need is a hub now this hub is a four-way USB hub but more importantly, it can be powered. It's a powered hub. These bat wing wonks, they have a two PCB design, one in here, one in here, with lots of wires in between. But basically, you can crack these open for the goodies they contain inside. You can use them as a powered hub, which will come from a 12 volt regulator, which I'll tap off here. And that will power the hub and will power the USB um sound dongle thing and obviously i will use my controller now i don't want to i use this on other systems as well this is a buffalo classic usb gamepad it's a rather nice one actually there's a lot of these on the market and i used to have a snes back in the day hayuken hayuken dragon punch dragon punch hayuken <laughs> <laughs> many and many hours. I used to have a SNED when I was young and I think the control feels a bit thing correct. This seems a little high from what I remember unless my hands have got bigger. But I always remember that being a bit flatter rather than this sort of cup shape. But oh well. But obviously I don't want to plug this in here and have it all buried inside the board. So I haven't even taken this out yet. I have basically USB to a USB panel adapter 
with far too much cable so that will probably be chopped down to about uh, about 10 centimeters and hidden probably exiting out the left side of the case and that was uh, from eBay that was a couple of pounds and it was slightly more expensive getting the meter long one than half a meter one but USB cable is always useful so that's about basically it and then I can I won't have to use adapters like the power adapter if I solder directly onto the back I've already had this system trialed using the uh, coaxial out oh and that's another thing obviously no HDMI out onto this one but the old SV video or um, so forth plugged into the header pins obviously the appropriate resolution changed and that works quite well when just plugging the controller having it sort of bare bones is quite effective maybe I should have set that up but I've only just come back to this project after fiddling around with my um, 3D printer for the last several months getting that working and it still isn't perfect I'm still waiting for parts but oh well, let's just show you some modified parts as well I've done the lid um, to the DVD player as well taken off the uh, DVD mark and just filled in the sides slightly all this will get a dusting with primer and a colour I'm not sure what style to go for gold or um, sort of military style oh it's quite like the US Army style and this sort of World War 2 with the sort of drab olive with the uh, white star and the sort of stenciled markings and uh, more tea so uh, not really sure what to go for in that respect but one I will keep you updated and anything else I do I will probably now make this video so a little bit different than uh, Tie Writers I do that as well I'm uh, still playing games a little bit of a channel update I've been away basically I'm trying I'm recording with my phone which is a um, Samsung S5 so I've got this perched in the tripod with using a um, selfie stick holder in a tripod down and I've got more light so hopefully it's not too dark it's not strangely upside down and everything golden so that's about it for now just a quick update thank you for watching like is that right or that might be right like if you like it like if you don't who knows which way my hands may be going. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. I'm a duty paid. Take care.